So one of the beautiful things about x-ray fluorescence is that it does not only give us surface information because the x-rays penetrate through the paint layers and all the way down to the parchment. So we can get information about the whole stratigraphy of the object we're looking at from the parchment substrate all the way up to the upper paint layers which might often be retouches for example made in the 19th century when someone um, made new lockets for these miniatures and you know try to uh, retouch any losses or um, any fading perhaps push them up a little bit and make them look a little better um, and it's really important to us that we can separate these later interventions from the original work of the artist um, because otherwise it's hard to appreciate what the original artist in our case Isaac Oliver actually was doing you know what materials was he using what do the, his brush strokes look like what he, what's his technique and that really is key also in terms of attribution which is not something we are setting out to do you know attribute things to Oliver or not to him but the information we're gathering can definitely be helpful to future uh, researchers you know art historians and conservators who will look at these miniatures again from various different points of view uh, including from an art historical stylistic point of view and it what we're doing might aid them um, in refining their um, attributions 